Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Hello again everyone. Welcome to week three. I hope you are well. We have been talking about present perfect. Do you remember? Where have we been using it? Well, there's a big clue in the picture there. We have been shopping and buying clothes. Have you enjoyed buying clothes? Who has been helping us? We've had two friends with us, but do you remember their names? John and Emily have been helping. Now, we are going to meet some important people. Who could it be? Well, they're very important when we go shopping. They are shop assistants. We see them every time we go shopping and in every shop. That's how important they are. Now, all the way through today, make sure you keep looking for present perfect. Okay? Here's our first shop assistant. Now, in the weeks before today, the shop assistants have been helping us. Sometimes we don't really need very much help. Maybe we know what we want to buy and we know where it is. And then shopping is really easy. But very often we need help. And assistance is another word for help. So that gives us another big clue about what a shop assistant does. Let's find out all about them. Don't forget, we see them in every shop. Emily is going to interview them. Hold on. Is that a new word? Can you see the new word? Is the new word going? No, 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 no. Interview. There we go. It's a great word. I think maybe you should say it a couple of times so you can get it right. Are you ready? Interview. Interview. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Interview. It's a meeting where one person asks another questions 
to find out about them. So Emily is going to ask questions to the shop assistant to find out about them. Emily is going to interview them. That's a very useful word. Let's get started. I think Emily is ready. Very ready. And I think Emily is interested in the job. So Emily asks the first question. Could you tell me about your job? Let's meet the first shop assistant. He says, sure. What do you want to know? Now, Emily's first question is a very broad question. Very broad. It means the shop assistant doesn't really know what Emily wants to know. He does many, many things in his job. What does Emily really want to know? The question is too broad. First. Okay, now Emily's next question is very clear. It will have a very clear answer. It's not a broad question. Emily asks, how long have you been a shop assistant? So that will have a very clear answer. He tells us, I have worked here for five years, but I worked in a different shop before. So we have a clear question and that will give us a clear answer. Thank you, Emily. She's learning how to be a good interviewer. Did you see some present perfect? I have worked is present perfect. We've got the word have and then worked. Here the word worked is the past participle. So, I have worked is present perfect. But then the shop assistant said, I worked. That is past simple. Past simple is when something is finished and it's, it's completely in the past. It's completely finished, it's gone, it's done, it's all in the past. So, here we used two different clauses in the same sentence. Hmm, do you remember? The shop assistant said, I have worked here for five years, but I worked in a different shop before. 
So, in the same sentence, we used present perfect and then past simple. And it's okay to do that because we've got an important word in the middle. We've got but. And that splits the sentence into two different sections. So it's okay to use two different clauses in the same sentence. Hmm, that was a little bit difficult, wasn't it? But the more you talk, the easier grammar will be. Why? Ah, we're back to Emily's interview. This is a, a good question. What does Emily say? Why do you work here? Oh, right. Is that a broad question or is it a clear question? I think it's a little bit in the middle. Let's look at the answer. Okay. Well, the assistant thinks it's a clear question because she's got a very clear answer. She says, I have adored clothes since I was a child. Okay. So, if you really know the answer, then the question is a clear question. New word. We should have a, a new word alert sound, perhaps. New word, beep beep. Maybe not. The new word here is adored. Hmm, well, I'm not going to tell you what it means yet. Can you guess? Well, it's about something she likes. She said, I have adored clothes since I was a child. So, do you think we use adored if we're talking about something bad and horrible? No. It's certainly about something she likes. Does it mean love? Yes. It means really love. So, she adores clothes. When she sees some nice clothes, she feels really good. I'm a little bit different. I'm really, 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 really like football. So you could say that I adore watching football. Is there anything that you adore? It's a good word. But it really is a word you have to be careful with. You can't really adore potato chips. No, you like potato chips. You can't really adore um, the, the fish that you're going to eat for dinner. No, not really. You like to eat fish. So it's really got to be something that you like a lot. You can adore mum. You can adore dad. You could even adore going to school. That would be nice. A 
Another question please, Emily. What have you got next? Oh, now this is something we all think is very important. Hmm. Emily asks, have you been to university? Well, this is a very good question. Let's look at the answer. The assistant tells us, I haven't, but I have done lots of training. So we all think that university is very important. And it is very important. But maybe it's not the most important thing for some jobs. Training is really important. Training is when we do something to learn about something very special. Let's hope the assistant tells us about the training that she has done. Oh, that's interesting. It really is. Thank you, Emily. This is a question I want to know the answer to. Emily asks, what was the training about? Oh, this is a long answer. Wow, okay. The assistant tells us, I have learned about customer service and window dressing. Present perfect, present perfect. I have learned. Okay. So the assistant, she did some learning. She did some training and it's still really important. Very important to her job. So that's what training is. When you learn something that is very important to your job. So that's a great question, Emily. Thank you. Let's read the assistant's answer again. I have learned about customer service and window dressing. What? What are they? Well, actually, I really don't know. That's because I have not done the training. That sounds great. Well, it does. Training is always great. It is always useful. But what is it? I don't know what the shop assistant has done. That's because it's training for her job. Can you elaborate? Great word, Emily. Great word. But hold on. Stop right there. Yes, Emily, very good question. But you might need to tell us a little bit more there. Elaborate. What does that mean, Emily? Well, 
That sounds quite easy. Elaborate. That means give some more information. So Emily wants to know more about the shop assistant's answer. Ah, we can elaborate about lots of things. If ever there's something you don't quite understand, you will need your teacher to elaborate. You will need your teacher to tell you some more. Good word, Emily. Let's all say it again. Elaborate. Hmm, great. Now I understand what elaborate means. So, Emily's going to ask again. So, can you elaborate? Okay, so now the assistant is going to tell us more about customer service. She is going to elaborate. She tells us customer service just means helping the customers and making them happy. There we are. We've got a great picture there. The assistant is making the customer happy. She's using her customer service training. And the other one. Can you remember what it was? I can. Can you? Ah, oh, yes. Window dressing. That's right. Window dressing. Look at that answer. That's a long answer. So the assistant really did elaborate about this one. Thank you. What does she say? Oh, yes. Window dressing is putting things in the window. So they look appealing and people will want to come in. Look at the picture. Someone has very carefully put those things in the window. When you walk past the shop, you might think, oh, wow, that looks good. I'll go and have a look. That's what window dressing will get you to do. Wow. Do you need any other skills? Hmm. I'm sure there's lots of different things we need to learn, Emily. Hmm. Good question again. Thank you. Well, there are other skills and the assistant tells us you need to be on your feet all day. So I think you need stamina. Let's look at that. On your feet. Well, that just means standing up. You've got to be standing up all day. Wow. So I think you need stamina. Yep, I see a new word. Do you see it? Stamina. Stamina. What does that mean? Let's see if we can think about it. You need to stand up all day. So you need stamina. Hmm. What do you need to stand up all day? Good shoes, maybe. 
Do you think stamina means good shoes? No, I don't think so. Stamina. It's the energy you need to do something for a long time. What are those people doing? Well, they're running. I think they are running a marathon. They have to do it for a long time. They need stamina. Do you think you have got the stamina to stand up in a shop all day? It's not such an easy job, is it? Can I do it? Hmm, Emily's really thinking about this job. Well, Emily, I think you've got a lot of time at school before you need to think about what kind of job. But it's good to think now. It's a great question, Emily. Have I got what it takes? Have you got the stamina? Well, the assistant doesn't think stamina is the most important thing. She is saying, if you love clothes and helping people, you would do a great job. What do you think, Emily? What do you think? Hmm. Well, your interview has certainly given you a lot of answers. It's given you a lot to think about. Is it for me? Well, this is what Emily is now thinking. Yes, I think you're right, Emily. She tells us, I have learned a lot today. Have you learned something too? Well, I certainly have, Emily. I have learned that maybe I don't really want to be a shop assistant, but I have also learned that they do a really great job. I think I will look at them differently every time I go into the shop now. Can you see the present perfect there? We've got it twice. I have learned. And it's in the question. Have you learned? So, we've finished our learning, but it's still really important. It's finished, but it's still important. Present perfect. Thank you, Emily. What next? Well, we have been in the shop for long enough. Shopping time is finished. Well, those kids look happy. But I don't think Emily will be quite so happy. She loved shopping. We have used present perfect a lot. Let's move on to something new. What could it be? Back to school? 
Oh, oh, I, I don't think I like that idea. Next week, we will look at one of the most fun things at school. What is it? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You will have to join us next time to find out. Thank you for coming today. It was really nice being with you. See you very soon. Bye bye guys. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget subscribe and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.